drafted by by Winnipeg and spent uh, just over four years here. Um, I think it was great great place to play hockey. You know, everybody knows how passionate the fans are and uh, how build, how uh, how loud the building gets. Um, so it was it was it was an awesome place to play hockey and uh, probably. I would still say my first first game. I think that's uh, that's something I'll never forget. Um, you know, playing that in front of a home crowd, in front of my family. Uh, I mean, that was that was pretty special. And just to follow up, if I can, uh, obviously there was talk and speculation since the season began. What was it like when you finally found out today that uh, the deal was done? Appreciate it. Um, I think it was just shock. Um, you know, you you never know what to expect. You know, there's always always rumors going around the league, and now finally, when they let me know earlier today, it was kind of kind of shock and didn't know what to do. But um, just you know, gonna say hi to everybody and say goodbyes. And but I'll uh, I'll see them in the corners next year, and uh, hopefully hopefully in the playoffs. Next, we'll go to Aaron Portsline with the Columbus Dispatch. Go ahead, Porty. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Patrick. Welcome to Columbus. Uh, what, are your, what are your thoughts on the new chapter? I mean, it, it, it's always a shock to, to get moved. When you think of the Blue Jackets, how do you think you might fit in here and who are you looking forward to to uh, playing with or getting to know? Um, well, yeah, thank you. It's uh, well, it's awesome to be uh, be part of the Blue Jackets uh, organization right now and uh, happy, happy that they wanted me on board and uh, I couldn't be couldn't be more excited. It's, uh, you know, always, always a new chapter and kind of, you know, going to a new place, meeting new guys. It's um, kind of, kind of scared, but uh, it'll, it'll be, it'll be fine. Uh, there's a bunch of guys, a bunch of guys I know and uh, a couple of Finnish guys too. And uh, just, uh, just super excited to meet everybody and uh, get, uh, get things going. Do you have a sense yet, Patrick, what your time frame is and how long it will take you to be able to get here with the visa with the COVID and such. Do you have a time frame yet? Uh, no idea. I think just gonna let me know how the, how the visa things work, works out. And, uh, but for now I'm just, you know, packing, packing my stuff and, uh, just be, be ready to go whenever, uh, whenever they're ready. Next we'll go to Mike McIntyre at the Winnipeg free press. Go ahead, Mike. Hi, Patrick. Um, a lot of Jets fans are going to naturally wonder why couldn't it have worked out here? Why not finish your career with the team you started it with? Uh, I'd just like to know, you know, your thoughts on, on maybe where it didn't work out uh, and why uh, a trade ultimately happened here four and a half years into your career. Well, yeah, I think that's a, that's a tough one. Um, you know, um, it's it's a tough question. Like, I don't, I don't really know. Like right now, um, I don't, I don't even want to like think about it. Just you know, kind of, kind of leave it behind me and take all the all the great memories I had with uh, with this team and my teammates with me and uh, move on. But I think there was just, um, I don't think maybe it wasn't wasn't a right fit, right fit for me and for the team. You know, they have a lot of a lot of depth and. Uh, a lot of a lot of great players so i think i think it was just um the team's time and my time to move on and uh you know they well they got a hell of a hell of a player in, in return too which uh you know he he'll be he'll be a good player for the jets but uh i think it was just time time for us to move on next we'll go to brian hedger from the columbus dispatch go ahead hedge yeah, speaking of Pierre Luc Dubois, you guys were drafted, uh, you know, two, three in the same year. There, did you guys, uh, did you guys have, you know, rela friendship relationship? Do you guys know any? Did you meet each other at the draft or anything like that? Have you talked? Um, honestly, not too much. Like we were uh, just that, bef uh, like after the combine, we went to the Stanley Cup Finals in San Jose, so um, spent a little bit of time over there and. Uh, Obviously, a bunch of a bunch of media stuff at, at the draft, but uh, seem, seems like a good guy. Um, that that little time I spend with him, uh, funny funny guy, really good player. Um, so it's uh, you know they'll the Jets will have a have a good good player for uh, 
you know, hopefully a long time. Next, we'll go to Tom Delitti at NHL.com. Go ahead, Tom. Hi, Patrick. I know you just got traded today, but Yarmo talked a little bit about wanting to, you know, establish a long-term relationship with you. How open are, are you to that? And does your maybe a little bit of a relationship with with Yarmo maybe help some coming in into into Columbus? Um. Well, yeah. Obviously, he. Uh, you know, he was excited to. Uh, you know, to get me on board and trade a trade a big time player like Dupuis for for me. So that's obviously obviously a big thing for me that um, that that uh, team team wants me and wants me bad. Um, so that was that was obviously a great thing for me. Um, and you know, I'm 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 open for sure. I I mean, hopefully hopefully that's going to be a spot where uh, you know I'm enjoying life, enjoying playing hockey, and. Uh, Everything I've heard about the organization, the city, it's uh, it's only only positive things, and you know they have a good uh, good young team, and uh, hopefully, hopefully I can bring uh, bring my uh, kind of playmaking abilities and my my shooting abilities into the team, and work work as hard as I can, and uh, hopefully uh, hopefully build something good. Next, we'll go to Carter Brooks. Go ahead, Carter. Hey, Patrick, congratulations on the new destination here for you. Uh, last time I spoke to you last week, I asked you about Nick Ehlers and uh, a little bit about your fighting, and you told me that uh, he's a pigeon not to listen to him. We had a good chuckle. But uh, today I listened to him, and he said that he's really sad to see you go. You guys had great things going on together. You were friends for a long time. Can you touch a little bit on your relationship and what it meant just to maybe, maybe you might have heard him, maybe you didn't, but just to hear him say goodbye to you and how tough it might be? Yeah, well, it's it's obviously tough. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys that have been there the whole time with me, and uh, you know, all, all of them are great guys. You know, I was uh, and still I'm really close with Nikki, and uh, you know, being roommates for for three years and uh, spending a lot of time with him off the ice, it's it's tough. But um, like like he said, it's. This is the business side side of hockey. These things happen, um, you know. But it's uh, yeah, it's it's a kind of a sad day, but still, I'm I'm really excited that uh, you know I'll I'll have I'll have a new opportunity in Columbus, and uh, I'll have uh, friends friends and brothers for life from uh, from the Jets. Thanks, Patrick. Next, we'll go to Jeff Swoboda, Jackets Insider. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, thanks, Todd. Uh, thanks for doing this, Patrick. Uh, Tort said that he talked to you earlier today, and he seemed very excited about just that conversation. And not going into it too detailed, but just your first thoughts on kind of your uh, the discussion you had with him and anybody else that you maybe had a chance to talk to so far from the Jackets. Um, yeah, had uh, had some good talks. You know, obviously talked to Yarmo and uh, Torts, and had a had a good talk. You know, kind of didn't didn't talk too much too much yet um just kind of a ex- little bit of ex- expectations and how how excited the both parties are for me me to arrive to columbus um you know i was just expressing how uh how happy i am i am to be uh be a blue jacket now and uh you know i think he they're they're all been really excited to have me on board and uh kind of just excited to get uh, get the things going and finally going to wear that jersey. Next, we'll go to Ken Weeby at Sportsnet. Go ahead, Ken. Thanks, Todd. Thanks, Patrick. Uh, where's your game grown the most, Patrick, and what level do you think you can reach uh, after this move here? Uh, I think, like, overall, I think, you know, coming here four and a half years ago as an 82-year-old, I think my game was – it's it's night and day the, the the difference nowadays you know you're well now I'm I'm 22 I've been learning so much about the game how to play the game how to be a be a guy who wins his own battles um, and you know there's a lot of a lot of things I still need to improve and but I think I'm on a good path you know had a good uh, good fir- first game of the season and uh, you know obviously missed the last three but. Um, I'll be I'll be ready to take the next next step with uh, with Columbus and uh, I think it'll be a, it'll be a big one. Just one last one. How do how do you think you'll be remembered by Jets fans? I know you've been a popular guy for a long time here. Um. Well, hopefully as a good guy. Uh, I've always you know tried to uh, 
be myself and uh if if somebody doesn't like it then i don't know it's too bad but i i think just being myself i was always myself with the media with the fans on the ice so hopefully hopefully they'll have good uh, good things to say about me and uh you know always always try to be a good guy and uh you know good good teammates so hopefully they'll have uh, some good memories of uh, number 29 both Blake uh, Wheeler and Paul Maurice spoke, and both of them were candid in, in saying that they do take some responsibility, maybe that things didn't work out here. I just wonder your thoughts on the relationship you had with, with Blake um, and also with Paul just during your tenure here. Um, I think we had a good, uh, good relationship. Um, obviously, you know, I, I don't think we had any negative um conversations with Blake uh, I think it was usually usually positive and like he's a he's a guy who you know leads everything on the ice so he'll you know um, I'm the same way I get frust frustrated a lot and uh, you know sometimes say things that I shouldn't say and but um, yeah I, I think we had a you know good good relationship um, and with Paul too um, you know, he was a good, uh, good coach, you know, he's been coaching for a long time. So he, he knows how to handle players. Um, so I think it was, uh, it was good.